In April of 2007, Representative Jane Harmon introduced one of the most terrifying bills ever to make its way onto the House floor. The Violent Radicalization and Homegrown Terrorism Prevention Act of 2007 amends the Homeland Security Act of 2002 and seeks to add provisions pertaining to the prevention of homegrown terrorism. The bill's focal point is centered on terrorism by individuals born, raised, or based and operating primarily in the United States. H.R. 1955 specifically targets the civilian population of the United States and makes having certain thoughts a crime. This bill makes it a crime for the people of the United States to have certain thoughts floating around in their head that may be contrary to the conventional wisdom of the current administration. Are you a terrorist? You just might be. As defined in the bill, homegrown terrorism is a term meaning the use, planned use, or threatened use of force or violence by a group or individual. I think we can all agree that preventing violence is a good thing but the red flag being waved in front of our faces actually comes from the use of the word force. According to the American Heritage Dictionary, the word force is defined as the capacity to do work or cause physical change, intellectual power or vigor, especially as conveyed in writing or speech, a capacity for affecting, influencing, or persuading the mind or behavior, Here's where you really begin to understand what the bill is attempting to regulate. Let's read the bill's intended uses and substitute the word force with the actual definitions. Homegrown terrorism is a term meaning the use, planned use, or threatened use of intellectual power or vigor, especially as conveyed in writing or speech. Homegrown terrorism is a term meaning the use, planned use, or threatened use of persuading the mind or behavior of another person. According to the bill, you might be a terrorist if you use or plan to use your powers of persuasion to change someone else's mind, either through writing or through speech. Can anyone say 19 freaking 84? This bill makes anyone into a terrorist for simply aspiring to affect political, religious, or social change. Anyone attempting to think, teach, or promote concepts that challenge conventional thinking or popular wisdom would be labeled and dealt with as criminals. My question for our legislators is who gets to decide what's a thought crime? Will the definition of thought crimes change from administration to administration? Will the people of this country be sentenced to death or merely imprisoned for questioning the conduct of their leaders in Washington? If signed into law, this piece of legislation will single-handedly strip Americans of the most essential birthright that we have, the freedom of conscious thought. The very foundation upon which our First Amendment is grounded is being uprooted at the core. H.R. 1955 sets the stage for the outlawing of protest of any kind in the United States and seeks to criminalize the very conception of thought itself. Any piece of legislation that seeks to invade and regulate the thoughts of the people of the United States needs to be booted out the front door of the Capitol building along with the person who introduced it. If you agree that your brain belongs to you, please join us in contacting the House of Representatives and voicing your opinion. Go to www.house.gov. Just enter your zip code and click Go to find your representative. Make sure to tell them that you oppose H.R. 1955. And the next time you see Representative Jane Harmon, please tell her she's fired. If someone was working for me and they didn't do what they were supposed to do, they get fired. We all want the same thing. We all want change in one way or another, it's not working. The country is not working for your average American.